I've had uh, a bit of interest, so I thought I'd do some tutorials just just basically on Kodi. Just showing you how to make a plugin. Um, I might do a wizard. We'll just see how we go. For now, I'll just show you how to set up the add-on structure and the files you need in it. The best place to look is... Two seconds is um the code the add-on development thing which i'll show you in a sec which yeah on the Cody wiki page which is here all i've done or well, all i do is just put Cody add-on development into google and then it comes back as the top one so I'd bookmark this because as you can see there's quite a lot and on each page there's quite a lot so you'll be going back to this a fair bit and there's lots of handy stuff on it for you to use. Um, I don't think I've used all of it to be fair a lot I've just picked up as I went along but maybe I should read some of it looking here now but yeah anyway um, got this bit about add-ons which just tells you a brief bit about what add-ons are and compatibility they've obviously not updated that for quite a while but yeah that's that this is what we look at now the add-on structure which is quite a lot wrote down you don't need to pay attention to all of it these string ranges here you have to be careful to avoid them I think that's for creating like GUI windows so you can have your own layout rather than code your default one I believe but I've not actually learned how to do that yet that's something I want to look into myself so this is pretty much it you need an add on dot pi you can call it something else some up service dot pi and um, we'll use default dot pi but as long as it's a pi file that's what it'll be running from add on the xml that's that needs to be that because that's what will be read when installing your add on to tell it where to start from which will be default dot pi and what version number and that in case you want to make a repo and update it and what else and what type it is so you'll tell it whether it's a video music program whatever change log dot text if you're going to update it every time you change anything put that in people can read it if not you won't know if it's not there fanart.jpg that will be when you go into a menu and it's installed that will be the background picture what you see so if you go into your video add-ons and the icon.ping png will be your thumbnail picture license.txt so I'm not sure I've never put one in it's probably just to say it's open source and all that stuff um, and this with the slash is a resources folder which you need a uh, settings.xml in there we'll just leave it blank for now language that's so uh, the only cases I've seen it is in the settings.xml and some other xml files but rather than writing a word they've just put a number which will reference the files in here so you can see it in different languages but I won't go on to that too much well probably won't even touch on that to be fair because uh, um, lib we won't have data we won't have you, c you can do but you can make your own folder structure up and I'll show you how um, media we won't bother with because we'll use these images and you can um, use an online URL 
for your pictures as well so you can host them somewhere wherever you want and then just use like your URL as the picture so rather than you having a ridiculously big add on to downloads it gets quite small probably under a couple of megabytes and um, yeah and then obviously once it download from online they're going to your thumbnails so I'm doing it every time it's not a huge thing obviously if you can't host them you'll have to create a media file, media file and point to that I'll show you how to do that as well so yeah that's it really and it tells you your add-on.py would be your main code for it and the XML gives it the metadata such as what's in it what it relies on oh that's another thing you'll have firm requirements in it so it'll just be sort of imports it won't run without will be the best description so for you one you need to use URL online files you'll import your URL resolver and maybe some other bits and then what script it is when it's fired up what script to run when it is fired oh yeah so that will just tell it to run what we all call the default.py which will be that so as soon as you open it up then it will start there um, change log dot text change log dot where to go there there's a sample one yeah so you stick that in um, a text file contains a description of the changes you made this is displayed in the Kodi add-on installation slash update system the recommended format is to have it sort of by version in descending order with a simple description as to major changes Ah, oh. yeah so that's quite simple to be fair I've done a change log for an add-on which I really overcomplicated I go to check if a folder is there and if it's not then create a pop-up window and then create the folder so obviously next time you run it it doesn't show the change log each time but apparently there's an inbuilt function so it should do that in the author's opinion too many other than skip this piece of information make it difficult so yeah so that should pop up as you might have seen in some add-ons in like a little window it tells you what's been changed and what's been done which is quite handy that so we will use that just so i can practice with it as well yeah i'm fine that's what i'm saying helps to keep it graphically rich license.txt text of whatever software license you've chosen to release your add-on under <clears throat> entirely your responsibility whether you bother or not and then resources so yeah I did want to simplify that but I've just basically read it out to you so, <laughs> so yeah what I do I like to keep things together because we've got so much rubbish on here I like to know where things are so I just made a kind of tutorials folder and then the some of this are just simply from add-ons I've done before don't need that don't need that just delete that so that's the folder structure at the minute so you've got your icon.ping, default.py, which is saying about your background and your add on your XML in there in your main folder. So should have notepad plus plus. If not, go on Google, Google it, download it. I'm not sure what version it is, it's hard 16 or 6 point something at the minute, I think. I'm not sure. If you go on their official work website, you'll get the current one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That doesn't. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is the add-on to XML. This is where it all starts. So you've got the XML version encoding. Just keep that same. Don't touch that. 
Then you put your item on a date, which is where we want plugin dot video. So that would be dot template. What is when you go into your code folder? That will be the folder it creates, and it will be a video for a uh, video plugin called template, as you've named it here. Version. You just put 0.0.1 you can put whatever you want in there really just if you're going to update it that's obviously you've got to make that higher so the higher you start with unless you've got to work with before you end up with silly numbers uh, provide a name put your name in there it doesn't matter about capitals in these I don't think it matters too much in there but I just try and keep that out case I think I've had a problem before, I can't think what it was, but I think I've had a problem with uppercase on there before. Okay, and these uh, the requires, so what it requires to run, it won't run unless these are installed. And then when you do install this, these, um, if these aren't installed, it won't run, but because they're basic. Cody things that'll be in the Cody repo and it'll either install or enable them. So you need to make sure if you're trying to put something in the requires, it's got a way to install it as well. So if you write another script, which is um, a plugin, I suppose, that just constantly runs in the background to do basic stuff. So yeah. You gotta make sure there's a way for that to be installed if you put it in requires, otherwise it'll error. But you'll get used to a lot on this for a bit. Extension point, just put that the same. So it's using the python.plugin source and the library. That's your starting point. That's the code it's gonna run basically. It's going to start in there, which is that default.py file from before. And provides video. So it'd be a video add on. Extension point. So this metadata. Um, summary. Put what you want in there. A description of it. And a disclaimer. In there, just to say, copyright stuff's not bad. So obviously I can't condone the use of any of this for copyright material, but it's up to you what you do with it. I'm not your babysitter. So that's that. Do you want to save it? Yeah, we'll save it. I'll probably change something. Another thing I normally keep open is your Cody log. Okay, yes, sir. So, yeah, what are we doing on time? We'll stop it there. That's a brief one. And um, hopefully, I've sort of explained it a little bit. And I'll do another one just so I'm not too long because otherwise, you're going to run into half hour and I don't like to make them too long. Okay, well, I'll see you on the next one.